you know, Rosie did really well, but also even before that, you know, the wheels start turning. What about the other kids in the class? Uh, and I noticed that in the picture in Iggy Peck, when they're all building the bridge, and Iggy's standing up on the rock and doing his, his um, diagrams in the sand, everybody's doing something, but there's one little girl who's sitting there and she's just going like this. And she's sort of rubbing her chin and she's thinking. And I just, I love that so much. So I thought, that kid is curious. She wants to know everything. She wants to know about the world and, and just is figuring out how does this all fit? What's going on? And so scientist was just the natural, the natural step. So that's why she's a scientist. I, I don't feel that I have the right, the skill, the anything to write for any group of people be that girls or boys or blacks or whites or any group, you know, kangaroos, I don't care what it is. I can't do that and find truth in the story. So what I said about doing is looking at that kid. So I look at that girl and what is her story? And she is African American, so that, you know, that is who she is. Um, but I really just wanted to know, I was more intrigued than anything about this, this world of a mind that she has and how consumed she is by curiosity. So I see Iggy Peck as a book about passion, and I see Rosie as a book about perseverance, and Ada is a book about curiosity. So, but mostly they're, they're three tales of three kids. It's timely yeah. though, because we certainly need uh, more diversity in science and STEM. We need more girls in there in you know this area too, because I think we're missing an enormous amount of talent and we need all the talent we get because yeah. we have a lot of problems to fix. So this, this really, you know, is kind of an honor as an author that these books have connected with people in a way that they feel, you know, they say, you know, can you do something for this thing that I love so much? Um, and I, sometimes they're, they're kind of offbeat. So I get emails, like one of them was, I think it was the guy who, and maybe woman who, who does the traffic lines on the roads. And I like, yeah, I think that'd be a good one. <laughs> but coming up with a rhyming name for a person who writes lines on a road, it's a little tough. But the greatest thing really is when you see the kids want to read the books again and again and again. That is really, that makes me proud. Because I think, you know, in some way, maybe these books will have, have an effect on kids. And it's my secret dream that one day some, some woman, woman will come up and say, you know, I'm an engineer because of, of these books. And, uh, I just cured cancer and went to Mars. And I'll be like, yay! <laughs>